Hi, I'm Kurt Shimmers of Traders Nation. Thanks for visiting TradersNation.com today and using our dual broadcast media player. You know, we're always looking for ways to educate investors and traders, and we've done it again. We're now offering bits of Pro Online Trader DVD to the public for free. That's right, it's free. We hope that after the tutorial you're about to watch, you'll be further along with your knowledge on trading stocks and maybe even a fatter bank account. For the complete DVD, you can order by clicking on the Knowledge Center button that's on top of every TradersNation.com webpage. Stick around after this tutorial again for more information on Pro Online Trader DVD. In the meantime, watch, listen, and learn. Okay, now you understand how important a tool candlesticks are and that if you know what to look for, they can be used to make you a lot of money just by being able to pick out very specific patterns. But hold on just a minute. Yeah, sure, if you're patient, disciplined, and methodical, you very well could just sit back and watch for those islands, hammers, and hangmans to appear and trade fairly successfully just doing that. But there's a lot more information that's being shown here in front of you. There's something in trading that happens fairly consistently that has almost fed itself over time. Everyone's heard the term support and resistance if you've been anywhere near the stock market. But what exactly do those terms mean? Let's break down this chart of Amazon going back to October 2002. Again, to most novices, they'd have no idea what's almost being yelled at them here. Sure, you can pick out all those candlesticks, and you can clearly see how much money you could have made with all the reversal signals throughout the chart in just five months. But what if you could stack the deck even more in your favor? It's one thing to see a candlestick set up and know that it means one thing or another. But how about being able to have some more comfort and confirmation about that specific candlestick setup being a true top or bottom? And what about if you could know or at least have a good idea that the current direction is going to possibly continue? Well, one way is to be able to pick out the support and resistance levels. These two terms are simply defined as the price levels at which a stock previously ran or fell to and then reversed. How do you know where a support or resistance level is? Very easy. Simply draw a line at the bottom of any prior decline or at the top of any prior rally where the price stopped and then started to reverse from. The psychology of this is very simple. It was at that price level that the sellers ran out and the buyers thought it was then worth buying, or vice versa. Supply overtaking demand or demand overtaking supply. Economics 101. Take this level here in mid-October 2002 and going into mid-November. Thanks for taking the time to watch and hopefully you have learned something from our free Pro Online Trader DVD tutorial series. For the complete DVD, you can order by clicking on the Knowledge Center button that's located on the top of every TradersNation.com webpage. Put knowledge on your side. Doing that could fatten your trading account, that's for sure. Pro Online Trader DVD. Get it today.